As a co-founder and vice president of the Living Legends Foundation, I'm especially proud tonight to be able to honor one of the men who deserves probably this honor more than anybody else we've honored, Clarence Avant. As you know, Clarence has been known as the Godfather, and the Godfather is what he's been to a lot of us. Someone just handed me a piece of paper for me to talk about Clarence. That's like taking Dracula to the blood bank. <laughs> uh, Clarence Avant. I met Clarence about three years before electricity started. Congratulations on your Nobel Peace Prize. This, this is the Nobel Peace Prize, I'm sure. Um, and if it isn't, you certainly qualify for one um, um, because of your accomplishments, but not only your accomplishments, but how you've assisted so many others, including myself, um, in achieving so many things. And um, I, I would have to say that there's probably not one single individual alive who has contributed more to the growth of African-American executives. Clarence Avant is a man that I met during a long, long time ago when he was with Buddha Records. And I met him because of Gladys Knight and the Pips. Uh, from that point on, I lived not too far from him in Los Angeles. And uh, both of my children got to know his children. And I became friends with his wife, Jackie. Clarence Avon, mentor, consultant, friend, debater. <laughs> I guess I could just go on and on and on about Clarence Avon and what he has meant to my life and to my career. But for me, though, there really is one word that is very special and really symbolizes Clarence to me, and that is friendship. Clarence Avon knows how to be a friend. He's been my friend when friends were hard to come by for me. And I thank him so much for his friendship. I thank him for his steady hand of guidance, as he's done for so many people. But Clarence is someone that I will always respect, I will always admire, and I will always thank him endearingly for the friendship that he has shared with me over these last 30 years that I've known him and that I have been honored for him to call me his friend. Clarence, I'm sorry I can't be there with you tonight to celebrate. You have meant so much to the industry that I operate in the music industry. You are truly the godfather to so many. We wanted to honor him, but Clarence is a guy who, you know, he kind of stays behind the scenes and likes to work behind the scenes and do his things without uh, being involved and being in the spotlight. So to ask Clarence to be in the spotlight the way we're going to have him tonight uh, is truly, truly an honor. And Clarence, we really, really appreciate you giving us this opportunity. Thank you, my friend. I could just simply say that everything that I love and everything that I have has a direct line and connection to Clarence. Clarence is always there. When I say always there, I mean he was there through thick and thin for a lot of us, including myself, um, giving opportunities to people that he knew had the goods to deliver. His basic criteria is very simple, helping black people and making sure that the people he helps help black people. And with that kind of combination, it's hard to go wrong. I don't know if you guys know it, but Clarence also advises a lot of non-African American executives, but he doesn't really want you to know about that because he's such a proud black man. But uh, Clarence, your contributions are unequaled in our industry. I remember when Clarence first connected with me and I was in radio in New York and he gave me some advice that I never forgot. What he said was, Jerry, once you're sure that you're right, don't change your mind. I haven't, he hasn't. And for those many years, Clarence has helped tremendously everybody in the radio and music industry whose lives he's touched. You know, Clarence, it's been over two decades since you and I first met. We were both then at CBS Records doing your Taboo Records label deal. I had recently joined the industry and you were initiating me into its ways. I don't think I had ever been yelled out that way in my life or with such salty language. And I enjoyed it immensely. I also don't think I ever met anyone who dressed in the bright shirts you used to wear all the time, Clarence. I, I sort of miss those. 
the contributions, Clarence, you've made to this industry, you are well aware of it because it comes from the bottom, the deepest part of your soul, you know that, both from behind the front lines and behind the lines. You are there for everybody. And as I told you the other day, I've got three, three or four people lined up to come and borrow some money from you. Oprah's coming to borrow some money from you. Paul Allen, uh, uh, Warren Buffett, and uh, that, that, other, uh, that other billionaire is coming over. You are the most generous, giving human being that I've ever met in my life, Clarence. And you can't change, you know. If you could change, you'd remember where the city you came from is not Pleasant Gardens or Greensburg's climax. Clarence is sort of the Renaissance guy. He, he knows so much. He's affected so many lives. He's been in the music industry, um, one of the icons and probably uh, one of the great guiding forces for so many executives and artists and musicians and writers. I can really think of no better person to receive this honor this evening. He's a good friend, although he puts the appearance of being the rough, tough, tumble guy. He's really soft as putty inside. I love you, Clarence, very, very much. And I garner our friendship. Congratulations. And you deserve not only this one, but the one that will follow. Over the last two decades, your dedication to artist rights and human rights is second to none. And it's been a real inspiration to me and to the entire industry, Clarence. I consider you my advisor, my mentor, and friend. And there's no one who deserves this award more than you do, Clarence. So congratulations to you and Jackie. Clarence is so deserving of an award of this nature. And he is a living legend. And we're proud to have him in our lives and in our hearts. And um, Clarence, you're the man. This award uh, warms my heart for you. So congratulations and keep doing what you're doing. After 40 years of uh, these great contributions, I'm sure that you have many, many years left. Uh, and we stand beside you and we salute you. Clarence, thank you for being a part of our life. I can say without hesitation or reservation, I love Clarence Avon. And I'm honored that he is my friend. And I certainly look forward to a friendship with him for the next 40 or 50 years. You gotta live that long, Clarence, come on. All I can say is if God found a better friend for anybody in the world, I feel so blessed, you know. God must have kept him for himself, you know. I treasure you as I do my own life, man. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And nobody deserves this award more than you do. And I don't wanna hear no funny talk. I love you.